Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm great. How about you? I'm great also. Ah, excellent. So how is the week so far? How, how is how is the right week? Now it's lot of work. Okay. It's a lot because it's closed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. almost almost vacation time. <laughs> yeah, that's Pretty true. Close. When when yeah. do you celebrate um the patronal, you know, like the festivities, holidays Last, in your in your it, town? It's in um November. Oh, yeah, it's the past last couple last month. So I imagine that moment is a lot of work. Oh, yeah, that's moment, yes. I imagine that. You know, in my city, uh, mm -hmm. right now, we are celebrating those holidays. Where is your city? Oh, I live in El Rosario, La Paz. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so basically uh, it's, it's a lot of movements there are a lot of activities so i just imagine people who works in the city mm -hmm. hall is yes, very exciting a lot of yeah. work yeah definitely <laughs> but uh, it's, a, it's a great moment for all people and relaxing and in the old all Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> most, most here the people is like dancing in the, the in the in the days. Yes. In the, also are... the fire, the fire in the night. Yeah, that's true. Because here in my city, it's like there are dancing like almost every day. <laughs> Yeah. So, oh my goodness. All right. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. Good evening, I... teacher. Good evening, Anna. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Very good. Who else? Who else? Elizabeth, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Hi. Excellent. Very good. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. So you can eat. No worries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So everybody, I was checking the platform. Veo que algunos eh, ya avanzaron bastante. Great job. Veo que algunos ya hicieron el examen también y estoy viendo muy buenos resultados. My goodness. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. So Basically, remember, tomorrow is the last day, ¿ok? Así que, bueno, al ritmo que vamos, siento que todos van a lograr salir a tiempo con la plataforma. Espero que así sea, right? Para que ya el viernes, al finalizar la clase, ya ustedes se puedan quedar tranquilos, ya solo esperando, right? El aval para comenzar el siguiente nivel, el cual espero, right? Que todos puedan continuar. Yo sé que no es fácil, requiere mucho esfuerzo, están haciendo un gran sacrificio. But, remember, acuérdense de lo que hablamos el primer día, right? ¿Por qué lo están haciendo? ¿Cuál es su motivación? Ok, so, siempre traten de recordar la razón por la que hacen esto para que eso les pueda ayudar y les dé motivos para poder continuar. Because I know that is not easy. I know, yo sé que ahorita bien quisieran estar relajados, viendo tele, durmiendo, but here you are, ¿ok? El tiempo, si ustedes dicen, ay, me va a tomar dos años aprender inglés, pero esos dos años lo van a tener que vivir. Right? Estudien o no estudien, ese tiempo lo van a tener que vivir. Si dicen, ay, pero es que un año estudiando inglés. Yes, un año, pero lo van a tener que vivir. Right? Así que es mejor invertir el tiempo en algo que valga la pena y que les va a ser útil. Ok? So, um, we're going to start. Ok? ¿Se acuerdan del topic that we studied yesterday? 
Ajá. Uh, there is preposition the time, preposition the place, uh, there is, there are. Very good. Excellent. Exactly. So that is what we are going to continue practicing. Pero le vamos a ir agregando otros pequeños detalles. Right? So let me share the presentation. Just give me a second. And where are your classmates? My gosh. Good job because you are on time. Okay, so thank you so much for being on time. That's awesome. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Okay, very good. So today is December 15th. And this is the topic for today. We always study there is and there are. Solo que este día le vamos a agregar adjectives, okay? ¿Qué son los adjectives? Can you give me examples of adjectives? Friendly. Um, uh -huh. um, comfort, comfort, no, comfortable. Comfortable. Yes. For example, si yo digo beautiful, ¿creen que beautiful es un adjective? Yes. Cute. Cute. What else? Handsome. Very good. What else? Any other adjective? Pretty. Pretty. Okay, yeah, that's correct. So, um, in this case, if you see, um, de eso vamos a estar hablando el día de hoy. Adjectives. Yo sé que hay muchos adjectives, así que don't worry. Nos vamos a concentrar en unos cuantos adjectives y yo les voy a ir mostrando el significado para que aprendamos el vocabulary. Okay, so the class objective is that participants will be able to use their is, their are, and the adjectives to describe workplaces. Ayer ustedes describieron su lugar de trabajo, right? Ah, there are windows, there is a table, there is a computer, Very nice. So, ahora le vamos a hacer la misma description, pero con adjectives. So, but before starting, let's see if you remember the prepositions of place. In front of, ¿qué tienen ustedes in front of you? What is in front of you right now? The computer. The computer, very good. What else? What else is in front of you? It's a TV. A TV, all right. Now, what do you have next to you? My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Your daughter. Who else? My, My mother. Okay, all right. How about behind? What do you have behind? Wall. Okay, what else? Mirror. The mirror, okay. Un fantasma, right? Um, <laughs> no, no, fantasma, no. <laughs> A ghost? No ghost? Okay. A ghost. <laughs> okay, how about between? For example, I am between the window and the door. How about you? I am between my couch. Very good. Uh huh. What else? You are between. En medio de qué están? Between what? Between living room. Between the living room. All right. Now, when do we use on? Do you remember? Mm. 
And face or sleep? Um, on surface book. and street. street. How about in? How about in? Places, city. places, cities, countries, right? How about right. at? And a specific places, location. Right. Very good. Ah, veo que han estudiado. Excellent. Okay, what is the meaning of inside? What is that? Uh -huh. Alguien se acuerda? What is the meaning of inside? Teacher, explain. Explain okay. one more time, please. Okay. Inside, imagine que yo tengo una caja, right? Y coloqué el celular en la caja. So, ¿a dónde está el celular? <laughs> Inside. Inside. For example, piensen en su casa. Ustedes están inside your house or outside your house? Inside. Exactly. Very good. So, ese es el significado de inside and outside. Is it clear? Yes, thank you. Excellent. Now, what is the meaning of under? Exactly. Very good. So, let's do a practice. I'm going to show you some sentences and you have to decide what will be the correct preposition. Okay? So, let's imagine that this is an exam. So, let's see what will be your score. All right? Let's see. Imagine the first, can everybody see the sentences? Yes? Yes. Excellent. So there are flowers. What do you think? Look at the picture. There are flowers, ta, 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 the nice stand. Nice stand is como gaveteros, right? It's like the drawer, so. Next to. Next um... to. Under, on, or in? On. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. Uh huh. What is your final answer? Next to. Yes. Next to. Correct. Very good. Okay. There is a poster. Ta 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 ta. The girl. So what do you think? Behind. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Correct. Nice job. Nice job. Okay. There are pens. Look for the pens. Mm -hmm. In front. Of In the front. Door. Are you sure? Yeah, very I good. So. That's the correct one. That's the correct one. So, volunteer for reading the next one, please. Uh huh. Volunteer uh, for reading the next one. Uh, on the there is a bag the under the mirror. Under, are you sure? Under. Yes. Totally correct. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, look at the picture. There is a girl, da -da 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 -da, the pillow. Look at the picture. Do you remember? On, On are you sure? Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh. Totally. Very good job. Very good job. Now, look at the picture. There is a pillow. 
da, 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 the nice tan and the bookcase. Bookcase is the place where we put the books. So what will be the correct preposition? Uh -huh. There is a pillow, da, 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 the nice tan and the book case. Between. Next between. Two. Or between. 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 That's correct. Exactly. Now, be careful with this one. There is a laptop. Look at the laptop. And here is the window. Uh -huh. Opposite to. Opposite to. That's correct. So, if you see, we have the two options. We have in front of and we have opposite. Opposite is when the distance is like bigger. Okay. For example, si yo estoy acá y paso una calle y está algo enfrente, normalmente no decimos in front, decimos opposite. Porque la distancia es más grande. In these moments, for example, my computer. My computer is opposite or in front of? What do you think? In front of. In front of. Exactly. Very in good. Front of. Excellent. Okay, everybody. Do you have any question about the prepositions? Uh-huh. Any questions? No questions? Okay, so let's continue then. Uh, I'm sorry if you listen to a background, that's my cat. <laughs> ¿Lo escuchan? ¿Escuchan a mi gato llorar? No? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Es que es bien llorón. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to check attendance. So remember, if you listen to your name, say present. Ana Carmina? Present teacher. All right. Douglas Arnoldo. Douglas. Okay. Guillermo. Present teacher, perdón. <laughs> okay, Douglas, no problem. Okay, Harvin. Present. All right. Um, Jesús Ernesto. Okay, Joannis. Present teacher. Okay, um, let's see, Rigoberto. Rigoberto is not here. Okay, um, Enrique. Enrique. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and Selvis too. Okay, thank you. Enrique dice que no puede conectarse porque no ha salido supuestamente el trabajo. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. And Selby, Selby is working too. All right. So, Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Verónica. Hmm. All right. Xiomara. Present. All right. Wilson. Wilson. Okay. Lily Navarro. Present teacher. Very good. So everybody be careful with the attendance. Okay. Ya solo nos restan dos días. Okay. So be careful with the attendance. Okay. Now let's continue. Ya vimos algunas propositions of place, right? So Right now, let's review vocabulary. Vamos a ver cómo están con el vocabulary. Vamos a ver si es cierto que han estudiado, que han practicado a little bit. And we are going to check places in town. I'm going to share some pictures. So tell me what is the place. So vamos a empezar con el easy level. What is this? Airport. Airport. 
All right. Airport. Is there an airport in your city? No. No, no. I don't. No, right? There isn't. There isn't. Uh, there is. What is this? The bar. A bar. bar. Is there a bar in your city? Yes, I, yes, there are a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of. All right. What is this? Beach. All right. Is beach. there is there a beach in your city? Yes. No, yes. There is not. All right. In some cases, yes, oh there is or no, there isn't. How about this? The hospital. 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 Is there a hospital in your city? Yes. No. There, are. there isn't. Hospital. Okay. There is or no? There isn't. How about this? Hotel. Hotel. Is there a hotel in your city? Yes. There yes. Uh, there is. Okay. Yes, there is or yes, there are. Great job. How about this? Cinema. 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 Yes. So we can say movie cinema theater. or movie theater. Is there a cinema in your city? Yes. No. Yes. No. no there isn't. Okay. Very good. How about this? The hotel. Pool. Okay. Specifically pool. here. Um, it's, it's a, a pool. 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 Is there a swimming pool in your city? Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay. There, there is or there, there, is. there are? There is. Mm. Okay. There are. there are a lot. How about this? Mm. What is it? Restaurant. 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 Great job. Are there a lot of restaurants in your city? There are a there lot, are a lot there of, of all right. a lot. restaurants. What is this? Supermarket. Supermarket. Supermarket or? Supermarket. Grocery, Grocery store. store. Grocery store. Grocery store. So it's basically the same. Okay. Are there a lot of supermarkets in your city? Yes, they are. All right. Yeah. Yes, there are. Great job. How about this? What is that? Mm. The shop. store. Which one? Combin. Com... Mm. Jugueton. <laughs> <laughs> Jugueton. Okay. Jugueton, it's an example, right? So, uh, but the, what would be the name? Toy Store. Toy Store. Okay. So, oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What happened here? Um, can you see the picture? No. No. Yes. No? Okay. Yes. So, is there a toy store in your city? No, there is. No, there is. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, easy level, you complete the easy level. So, do you want to try the medium? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> what is this? Mm. Bus station. Mm, no, no, no. I need to take the bus. Mm -hmm. So, um, bus station. Bus. Bus stop. Stop. bus stop. Okay. Are there a lot of bus stops in your city? <laughs> yes, there is. No. Yes. There are a lot. Of yes. All right, very good. What is this? What do you think? Casino. Casino. It's a casino. casino. Great job. So, hmm, is there a casino in your city? Hmm, there is not. No, there is not. 
All right, very good, very good. Okay, so how about this? This one is easy. Sure. Church. Church. <laughs> All right. Are there churches in your city? Yes. There, there are, are a lot, lot of churches. Church. Very good. <laughs> the there point. are a lot of churches. Okay. There are a lot of churches. churches. Okay. What about this? Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Uh huh. Is there a gas station? Yes. No, there is. There are a lot of gas stations. Very good. Very good. Okay. Next. What is this? Gym. Uh huh. Are there a lot of gyms? Mm. And there is a gym. Okay. And do you go to the gym? No, I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Ooh, what is this? It's the jail. Castle. Jail or prison. So prison. we can say jail or prison. Ha, huh, this is an interesting question. Is there a jail in your city? No, there no, isn't. There is All right. No. Have you ever have you ever been in jail? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Be careful, everyone. Okay, this is mall. This mall. is a mall. mall. You can say shopping mall or you can say just mall. No problem. Okay. Is there a mall in your city? There is no. No, there is isn't. All right. What about this? When you are pharmacy. sick, pharmacy. You can say pharmacy, oh, or you can say drugstore. exactly pharmacy or drugstore. De las dos formas se puede. Are there a lot of pharmacies in your city? Yes. Yes, there are some. All right. This is not. In our country, it's not common. We don't have this in our country because we don't have trains. But no. what do you think? What is the name of it's it? Train. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we call it so subway. subway station. Okay, subway. subway. <laughs> Remember that subway <laughs> is como un tren, pero subterráneo, right? So that is a subway station. We don't have this in our country. <laughs> What is it? Musician. Mm, musician? Musician. Okay, be careful. Be careful with the pronunciation. Museum. 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 Okay, museum. So, what do you think? Is there a museum in your city? No, there is. No, there isn't. Very no. good. That's the one. So if you see level medium, you did it. Very good job. Tomorrow we are going to check the hard and the very hard. Okay. So tomorrow we are going to learn vocabulary. Now let's continue. Very good job. Now let's see adjectives at the beginning of the class i told you that we had been talking about adjectives you gave me examples beautiful angry tall small uh, uh -huh. all of those are uh, adjectives okay so uh, let's learn some adjectives. Vamos a ver algunos adjectives, no todos porque son muchos. Vamos a ver algunos adjectives que podemos usar para describe places. Okay? For example, look at the first picture. ¿Cómo creen que sea ese, este, no sé si es como un coach, un sofá o, o cómo llamarlo? ¿Cómo creen que se siente? Comfortable. Ah. Comfortable. 
comfortable 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 exactly basically it's like the letter ta doesn't sound it's like comfortable comfra comfortable okay so can you tell me an object that is comfortable Uh-huh. Um, I am com comfortable in my house. Okay, so your house is comfortable. How about the sofa? Do you think that the sofa is comfortable? The bed is comfortable. <laughs> the bed. The bed is comfortable. Correct. My husband is comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, very good. So please write it down write it down because we are going to use the vocabulary okay look at the elephant the elephant is big big, big. the mouse is small small, small. <clears throat> now big <clears throat> we can also say huge so huge Repeat huge. everyone, huge. huge. So huge. we can say we can say big or we can say huge. Small, we can say small or tiny. 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 Think about your house. Can you tell me something in your house that is huge? Yeah. Um, uh huh. For example, the dimension. Okay, the TV is huge. What else? Drawers. No. Okay, the drawers is huge. Okay. Yeah. A tree. Do you think that a tree is huge? Yes. 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 Very good. Okay. <laughs> Think about your house and tell me something. Tiny. Uh huh. What is something tiny? Insectos. How do you say insectos? <laughs> bugs. Bugs. Exactly. Bugs are tiny. What else? In your house. Something else? Yeah. Tiny. Mm -hmm. Some flowers, algunas flores, right, can be tiny, all right? So, if you say big, is the same as huge. La única diferencia es que big, right, es como para decir grande, and huge es como para hacer referencia a algo enorme, right? But they are synonyms. Small es para algo pequeño. Es un sinónimo de tiny. Pero Very tiny good. es como más, para más pequeño, algo diminuto. Okay? But they are synonyms. So they are kind of the same. Okay, look at the next picture. So, ¿cómo les parece ese lugar? Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, comfortable. Si a ustedes, do you like it? Great. Yes or no? Yes, I like it. Yes. Ah, I so like si it. les parece bonito, les parece agradable, decimos? Nice. 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 Very good. Okay. The opposite of nice, what would be the opposite? Bad. Podríamos decir bad, yes. Horrible. <laughs> Horrible, yes. Or disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, think about a place. Tell me a place in El Salvador that for you is nice. The mountain. The mountain, okay. What else? The waterfall. The waterfalls. The volcano. <laughs> the volcano. Okay. What else? 
the Another... girls. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. The ocean. the ocean. Now, hmm, what could be a place like disgusting? The traffic, for example. Traffic is nice or disgusting? <laughs> disgusting. disgusting. Disgusting, right? Um, what else? Uh huh. What else? The desert. The precious desert. Noises. <laughs> Sometimes. Noises. Depression. So the depression. Depression is nice or disgusting? Disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. So podemos usar disgusting en nice con places, pero también con food. Pueden decirme la food que es nice. Pupusas, Pupusas, for example. <laughs> ah, what Pupusas. else? Chicken. Chicken. Fish. Yes. Can you tell me something that you don't like it? Food that is disgusting. Mm. It's complicated. Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> Fish soup. Ah. Fish soup. So for you, fish soup is disgusting. disgusting. Okay. El whiskey, mm. right? Mm. For me, like whiskey it. is disgusting. I don't okay. like the vegetables, teacher. Vegetables. So vegetables are <laughs> disgusting. Okay. Sushi, for example, sushi oh. is. I like Beautiful. it. No, it's not. I don't like it. For me, sushi is disgusting. <laughs> okay, now, what is this? <laughs> what do you think? Apestoso. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, smelly. 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 Ew. No, right? Cuando no se bañan, ¿cómo andamos? <laughs> Smelly. Smelly, right? Very good. So, the coffee, thing. please. Oh. También, they are synonyms, so you can say both. Smelly or stinky, both are the same. Okay, how about this? Stretch. Uh -huh. How can I say that in English? Narrow. Narrow. ¿Cómo son las calles en su city? ¿Son narrows? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, so narrow. Narrow. Narrow es reducido o estrecho. Estrecho. Okay. Yes. Okay. Look at this room. ¿Cómo está el cuarto? ¿Oscuro? Or what do you think? Illuminated. Lighting. Lighting. Exactly. So, cuando hay mucha luz, podemos decir que está illuminated. Okay? So, your room, el cuarto donde están ahorita, is illuminated? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Is your city illuminated? No, it's dark. <laughs> How about the park? Is the park illuminated? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. What is the opposite mm -hmm. of illuminated? Dark. Dark. Dark Vader. <laughs> so, your house, Right now, your house is illuminated or dark? Illuminated. Illuminated. When, when you go to sleep, is illuminated or dark? It's dark. 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 Very good. Okay, let's review vocabulary just to see if you memorize it. What was the first one? Comfort. Comfortable. 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 
Repeat, comfortable. Comfortable. Exactly, very good. What is the next one? Big, can you tell me a synonym of big? Huge. 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 Can you tell me a synonym Huge. of small? It's tiny. 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 Very good. Tiny. Okay, what is the next one? Nice. 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 The opposite? Is disgusting. 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 When you don't take a shower, smell. smelly. <laughs> smelly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh huh. Mm, narrow. Narrow. Uh, narrow. 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 Illuminator. Illuminated. Illuminated. And the Dark. opposite? Dark. 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 Very good. Now, vamos a usar estos adjectives para describir places. So, pay attention. Tenemos adjectives que son positive y tenemos adjectives que son negatives. For example, um, ¿cuál de estos podría ser un positive adjective? Nice, mm. disgusting, or smelly? Nice. 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 Which one is negative? Disgusting. Disgusting. Ay, smelly. Smelly uh, también cuenta como negative. negative. How, how about this one? Which one is negative? Dark. Dark. Narrow. Dark. Narrow. Which one Dark. is positive? Illuminated. Illuminated. Exactly. Illuminated. Now, ¿cómo vamos a usar los adjectives? Look at here. It's in the manual page 44. So let's go to the manual, page 44. Volunteer, please, for reading the first sentence. There are comfortable rooms. Thank you. ¿Cómo son los rooms? Comfortable. Ah. So, pay attention in the position. ¿A dónde va el adjective? ¿Antes o después del noun? Look. After. Primero Antes. es el adjective Antes. y luego Antes. es el noun. ¿Alguna vez han escuchado cuando dicen, ay, es que en inglés hablan al revés? Have you ever heard that? Yes. ¿Han escuchado eso? Yes. Yes. Y es porque cambiamos el orden. In Spanish, ¿cómo decimos? De, en Spanish decimos, hay un carro rojo. Right? So, ¿cómo lo diríamos in English? In English, Cambiamos la posición y primero tenemos que decir el adjetivo. There is a red car. A red car. So, first, exactly. So, first is the adjective and then is the noun. Okay? So, let's see. The other example. Volunteer for reading, please. The second sentence. There is an parking lot. Parking lot. All right. ¿Cómo es el parking lot? Tiny? Huge. Huge. Exactly. Huge. Now, think about your workplace. Is there a parking lot in your city hall? Uh, no, it's a small. There is ah. a, a small parking. Is small. There is a small parking lot. Very good. So, pay attention. Siempre el adjetivo, look. Siempre va antes. All right? No importa si el adjetivo es positive or negative. It's the same. For example, there is a narrow reception area. Mm. ¿Cómo es la recepción? Is narrow. 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 ¿Cómo es la recepción en el City Hall? 
is narrow or is big? It's narrow. narrow. It's narrow. It's narrow. Okay, look at the next one. There are small offices. So, in your city hall, ¿cómo son las offices in your city tiny. hall? <laughs> there are tiny offices. Boy. Ah, there are <laughs> tiny. Okay. Tiny. <laughs> Very good. Okay, look at this one. Tenemos smelly living room and illuminated room. ¿Cómo son las rooms in your city hall? Illuminated or smelly? Illuminator. 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 Very good. So the most important thing is remember the adjectives goes first. Okay? Let's do a practice. For example, look at these sentences. Yo tengo small y tengo gym. Let's complete the sentences using there is and there are. For example, gym is in singular or plural? Singular. singular. So there is or there Europe. are? There is a. There is, is, is a. ¿Puedo decir a. gym small? No, small gym. No, small gym. No, small ah, gym. We say small gym. Mm -hmm. So, primero, adjective, and then the noun. Look yeah. at the sentence number two. Training rooms, is in singular it's or plural? Plural. plural. So, there is or there are? There are. Okay, there, okay. there are. are. New. New. Training room. Training room. All right, what is the meaning? What is the meaning of new? Nuevo. Nuevo. ¿Y cuál sería lo opuesto de new? Uh, old. 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 old old sería lo opposite yeah. okay <laughs> exactly como son los training rooms in your city hall is it new or old new or uh, old 50-50 <laughs> okay so algunos son new some are old very good okay let me ask one by one so anna carmina anna number well the next sentence clean cafeterias cafeterias uh, is plural uh-huh there are there are cafeterias clean Okay, there are cafeterias clean. Is that correct, everyone? No. No. Why clean not? Cafeteria. Clean cafeteria. Ah, very good. Yeah, Remember, the adjective goes first. Okay, always. Next, let's see. It's Dan Joannis. Smart meeting room. <clears throat> <clears throat> there are um, there are smart is it's narrow it's narrow okay smart que va primero smart or smart. meeting room Okay, smart. Smart, smart. Meeting mm -hmm. room. Is that correct, everybody? No. No. Why not? Meeting room is smart. Is it's plural. Okay, no. meeting room is in singular. Singular. So we there have is. to say. Yes. There is. That's correct. Very good. So, what is the meaning of smart? Smart. Intelligent. Yes. So, for example, smart phones. ¿Cómo son los teléfonos? Smart phone. TV. Smart TV. TV. Very good. Okay, next. Let's see. Du -du 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 Lily, number five. Unpleasant bathrooms. <laughs> what would be the sentence? 
Letter A. Ajá. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Ah, eso primero y después lo otro. <risa> ok. Unpleasant bathrooms. Ok. Unpleasant is the opposite of comfortable. For example, la bed. ¿Cómo es la bed? Comfortable. ¿Cómo sería una chair? Imagínense una silla así toda dura. Es unpleasant. So, en este caso, ¿cómo son los baños? The bathrooms are unpleasant. So, think about the bathrooms, the bathrooms in your city hall. Are they unpleasant or comfortable? Unpleasant. Exactly. Yes. Unpleasant es lo opuesto de comfortable. Okay. Es como ah, I don't like it, right? Unpleasant. Okay. Look at the last one. What will be the sentence? Cubicles. There is, there is uh -huh. tiny cubicles. Very good. What is the meaning of cubicles? Cubicles are, for example, when you exactly are there cubicles in your in your uh, city hall? Yes or no? No sabemos qué. No sabemos si hay. Cubículos. Los se han fijado, for example. Ajá. Uh -huh, cuando van al banco, right? Or in los call centers, for example. Cada persona está como en un cubículo, right? Ahí tiene su computer. So, do you have, or sorry, are there tiny cubicles in your city hall? Yes, there are. There is an. There is a. <laughs> there is an. There is a cubicles, no? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, look at this picture. This picture is going to explain what a cubicle is. Look. No picture. Okay. Uh huh. Esos okay. son. Look. Yes. So, in your city hall, are there cubicles like this? Yes, there are. Okay. Big or tiny? Small. Small. Okay, very good, very good. So that's the idea with the adjectives. Siempre podemos usar there is and there are, pero después va el adjective y luego va el noun. Look at these pictures. Vamos a describir estas pictures usando there is, there are, y también los adjectives. So what can you see? Tell me sentences. There is, there are, uh-huh. There, there, there are. There, are there, is, there is a comfort a table. Comfort, there are comfortable time. chair. Okay, there is a comfortable chair. Yeah. Solo una es cómoda? What about the other one? There are two. There is a... Is a <laughs> okay, so we can say there is an unpleasant chair. How about the TV? There is there is a small there is a small TV. Okay. How about the windows? Illuminator. There uh -huh. is it's a big Oh, there is a... So a we can bird. say there is a huge, a huge window. A huge window. Eso. How there about the window. office? Yes. The office is illuminated or dark? Illuminator. 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 How about how about the books? Only one. A lot. A lot. A lot. So, there is or there are. 
There are a lot of books. There are a lot of there are books. Are a lot of books. <laughs> very good, very good. How about this tree? Is huge, tiny? What do you think? Tiny. There is so a there is a huge plant. Hmm. Mm. Is that huge or small? Small. small. It's kind of small, right? How mm. about the table? The table is tiny or big? Big. Big. There is, big. There is, there is big. There is a big table. Very good. Nice. Okay, look at the next picture. I will be asking one by one to create sentences. Okay? So let's see. Enrique, give me a sentence, please. Okay, Enrique, go ahead. Create a sentence using their is. There are. In an adjective. Uh -huh. What do you think? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to ask someone else. Um, let's see, Harbin, create a sentence, please. <clears throat> There is a, a big carpet. There is a big carpet. Nice. Very good. Very good. Uh, Let's see, Xiomara, create a sentence, please. I will see. Um, there is a TV or computer. It's a TV. So, ¿cómo es la TV? Big or small? Small. So, ¿cómo quedaría la oración, Xiomara? There is... And TV. Huge. Oh, hmm. huge TV. That's the correct one. Remember, first is the adjective. So, there is a huge TV. <coughs> so, do you think that the TV is old or is smart? Smart. Ah, smart. so there is a smart TV. Okay. Let's see. Du -du 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 -du. Ernesto, create a sentence, please. There is a cubes window mm, it's only one window <laughs> so there is or there are what do you think everybody there is or there are huge windows there are, there are in this case there are we there have are. a lot of, exactly very good there are huge windows let's see elizabeth create a sentence and there are constable sofas very good that's the one so everybody what about the table what can you tell me about the table there, there, is is a a table. 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 there is a huge table. Very good job. Okay, another picture. This is a classroom. So, Douglas, tell me a sentence about the classroom. Um. <laughs> The, there is uh -huh. a big ball soccer player. No. <laughs> yes. Why not? There is a big soccer ball. Pelota de football. Soccer ball. ball. Very good. Let's see who else. Joannis, create a sentence, please. There 
is a big um, bore. A big board, yes, very good, very good. So if you see everybody, this is the way that we can describe places, okay? So you can use there is or there are. So remember after that, you need the adjective and then you need the noun. That's the way that you can use it. Si es en negative is exactly the same. Si es en negative, lo único que van a hacer es, ¿qué necesitamos? Si es negative. Opposition. No. We just need to say no, no right? Pero la posición is the same. Después necesito el adjective and then the noun. Is it clear, the topic, everyone? Yes. yes. Do you have any questions so far? Hmm. Okay, so imagine, yo estoy hablando del classroom, y yo digo, ah, there are um, windows small. Is that correct? Oh, sorry, it's like no. this. There are window small. Sorry, oh, sorry. It's yeah, like this. Like this. Change the mm, uh -huh. window. No, ah. that is a small window. So, puedo no, decir no, no, small, or there, there are small or there is. There, there, is. Is. there, there is. is. It's only okay, so one. Exactly. So, if you see, fijémonos siempre en los singulars, en plurals, y recuerden, el adjective goes first. Okay? Is it clear, everybody? Do you have any questions so far? No questions? Okay. If you don't have questions, let's do a practice. I need a volunteer for reading the instruction, please. Bye. Yes? Yes. Describe your house using there if or there uh, are an adjective. Okay. Yesterday describimos right nuestro trabajo. Ahora quiero que describan, pero your house. Your house. Okay. Vamos a describir la casa. Describe your house, but use adjective. For example, be careful with the microphones, please. For example, imagine, in my house, there is a big gate, all right? Be careful with the microphones. There are two tall trees. There is an illuminated living room. There are comfortable sofas. There is a nice garden. You can use negatives if you want. For example, mm, there isn't a huge pool. There is a tiny bathroom. Okay, so describe your house and try to use in all the sentences, use adjectives. Okay, quiero que todas las oraciones lleven adjectives, please. So, mínimo quiero six sentences. Mínimo. If you can write more sentences, much better. Okay? So, six sentences describing your house. You can use there is or there are and use adjectives. Pueden usar los adjectives que ustedes quieran. Okay? Puede ser los que acabamos de ver. O si ustedes se saben otros adjectives, you can use them, okay? So for this activity, you have five minutes. Go ahead. If you have questions, please let me know. If you have questions about the vocabulary, let me know and I will help you. ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes? Yes. Okay, go ahead. You have five minutes.
si no copiaron los adjectives, les voy a mostrar otra vez the presentation with the adjectives. Vayan copiándolos, please. So tenemos comfortable. Big es lo mismo que decir huge. Small es lo mismo que decir tiny. So pueden usar esos adjectives. Comfortable, big, huge, small, tiny. Another adjective is nice. Remember nice is algo que a ustedes les guste, right? And the opposite is disgusting. Nice, disgusting. Cuando no se han bañado, right? Is smelly. Smelly. So remember, smelly is negative. Another adjective that you can use, narrow. Remember, narrow is bien estrecho. Cuando hay mucha luz, illuminated. And the opposite is dark. So you can use those adjectives. Pueden usar otros adjectives. Si ustedes se saben otros adjectives, perfect. You can use them too. Okay? Remember, pueden usar positive or negative adjectives. No problem. Pueden usar there is or there are. If you have questions, just let me know. ¿Qué significa gates? Oh, gates es como decir el portón o la puerta por donde se entra, right? So remember, okay. door es la puerta, la que ya está en la casa, pero gate es como un portón. It's like bigger. Thanks. All right. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Remember, three sentences, I mean, six sentences. If you want to write more, you can do it. If you have questions, just let me know. You have one more minute.
Is everybody ready? Do you have the sentences ready? Yes. Yes. Everybody, are you ready? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. We are going to share the sentences with our classmates. Okay. Remember, cada oración tiene que tener un adjective. Si escuchan que su classmates tiene una sentence, but the sentence doesn't have an adjective, tell them. Okay. Díganle, hey, te falta ahí una sentence, right? Te falta el adjective. Para que su classmates pueda agregarle. Okay. Please. Now, let's go to the breaking rooms. And in this moment, everybody, no more Spanish. Okay? Please. Okay. Let's go. One. One by okay. one. Who's the first one? <clears throat> well, uh, number one. Don Jesus. Okay. Go ahead. You. Uh, there are small sofas. Sofas. <laughs> sofas. Yes. Number two. No, and you. Number one. No. One by one. Jesus. Uh, in my house, there is a big gate. Me. There... Okay, my turn. My turn. In my house is a big place. Okay. And number two. There, there is nice bedroom. Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> there are three small trees. There are, in number two, there are a lot of huge trees. Okay, number three, there is narrow bedroom. Uh, <clears throat> there is an illuminator bedroom. Okay. There is nice waterfall. Number four, there is a comfortable bed. Uh, there is a huge, a huge, 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 <laughs> living room <laughs> okay um there is a dark and the night at noon is dark living room <laughs> there is a comfortable uh, sofas and chair there is comfortable place. <laughs> okay, number six. Look, there is an illuminator, the room. There is a big garden. There are a small the planes. There is a small TV. No sé si están bien así, pero así las is. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Okay, well, vamos, so good. I finished, teacher. Finish. So you can do it, you see? Very good job. Voy a revisar un grupo más y luego regresamos al salón principal, all right? Okay. Very good. Um. They are as small doors. A small door. A small is pequeño. You start, Xiomara. Oh, sí, usted. 
hice o yo. Um, there, there is an habitación, no sé cómo que room. se dice. Room, room. room. Ah, okay. Room. Um, there, there is a illuminate room. Um, there are comfort el sofá, no sé, sofá. Comfort bro. You can say teacher, sofa. ¿Cómo se dice? Comfortable, el teacher. Comfortable. Comfortable. Comfra. Es como que si dijeran comfra, comfortable. 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 Ok. Exactly. Yes. Comfortable. Ay, que no. Bueno, yo lo pronuncio. Comfort. <laughs> yes. Comfort. Comfort. What, what, what happens is, si decimos comfort, estamos diciendo como, eh, like, Um, like el nombre, right? Como yeah. seguro, comfort, comfort, right? Pero si necesitamos el adjective okay. de decir cómodo, entonces necesitamos bueno, decir comfortable. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay. Comfortable. Eh. La, la R ahí. <ríe> es como que si digan F-R-O. Ajá, comfra. Comfra. Fra. Bol. Ajá, agréguele la R. Comfra. Como cuando digan, let's see, digan frape. 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 Diga frape, así, frape. Ese fra es el que va a decidir en el comfra. Bol. Comfra. Exactly, that's the one. So don't forget que hay una letra M ahí. Com, comfortable. Ah, okay, comfortable. That's much better. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Very good. Hello. Ajá, Spanish, my goodness. <laughs> All right. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? Very easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did your classmate use adjectives? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Did your classmate yes. use there is and there are? Yes. Yes. Did you understand the sentences? So the year is <laughs> Okay. Did you understand the sentences? ¿Entendieron? Did you understand the sentences? Oh, yes. 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 Did you speak in Spanish? Not sometimes in English. Ah, okay, okay. Remember, we need to try to avoid Spanish. Okay, super good. Me gustó las oraciones que estaba escuchando. Sé que lo están intentando y por ahí a veces dicen, ay, no puedo. Pero a las horas de hacer la practice, resulta que sí pueden. You see? Very good. Lo están haciendo super, super good. I liked it. <laughs> Now, quiero escuchar a alguno de ustedes. So randomly, vamos a ver quién tiene suerte el día de hoy Sonia Verónica, ¿y Sonia here? No, right no. Ok <risa> Guillermo is not here, my God. solo los que no están salen, oh my gosh <risa> Enrique, Enrique is here <risa> Good, good, Roger <risa> Uh, okay, Enrique, please describe your house. <laughs> My house, um, there is illuminated room. Correct. Yes, it's correct. Continue. There is a, a, a small TV. There is a small window. 
there are tile streets, there is a small refrigerator, there are small chairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, very oh. good, Enrique. Nice job. <laughs> okay, let's see who's <clears throat> next. Very good job. Very, ya ven que si pueden, my gosh. Okay, let's see who's next. Yeah. Joannis. Okay. Okay. Joannis, describe your house. In my house is a big place. Um, there are lots of huge trees. There is a nice waterfall. There, are, there is a dark in the night. There is a comfortable place. There is a beautiful river. And there is a nice hill. Okay, nice. Very good, very good. Thank you, Joannis. Excellent. <coughs> okay, <coughs> the next one. Richard. Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth, describe your house. There are small sofas. Sofas. <laughs> there is nice bedroom. There is narrow bathroom. There is a comfortable bed. At noon is dark living room. There is not huge uh, kitchen. <laughs> All right, nice, very good, very good. Thank you, Elizabeth, very good. Okay, let's see who's next. You are doing great, everybody. I like it, I like it. So the next one is Wilson. Okay, Wilson. Very good. Very good. Your house. In my house, in my house, uh, there, there, there is a big uh, window. There is a big floor. Big, big floor. Uh, there, there are uh, a lot of uh, paper. There are a lot of uh, chairs. Okay. There is a table. All right. Okay. Nice job, Wilson. But don't forget to add the adjectives. Algunas oraciones como que no tenían adjective. So no. be careful, I can agregar the adjective, okay? Very good, okay, the last one, let's see who's the last one. Ernesto. Okay, okay Ernesto, <laughs> describe your house. In my house, there is a big gate. There is a uh, illuminated bedroom. There is a tiny bathroom. There is a, a small kitchen. There are uh, there are comfort comfortable sofas, and there are small trees all right nice very good thank you everybody okay because of the time no les puedo ir preguntando a todos but very good job so this topic is easy or difficult what do you think uh-huh easy or difficult also so, yo siento que lo están asimilando super rápido, everyone. Lo están haciendo super, super good. That's great. 50-50. So, listen. 
What happens is, necesitamos practicar vocabulary. Yo sé que hay muchos adjetivos que es como que, híjole, no sé qué significa, right? Ah, what is the meaning? No me puedo otro adjective. But, poquito a poco, los vamos a ir aprendiendo, right? En cada nivel vamos a ir tratando la manera de ir aprendiendo diferente vocabulary. Así que no se pongan como que, híjole, todo lo que me tengo que aprender ahorita. No, little by little. Ahorita aprendámonos los que vimos en la clase, right? So, little by little vamos a ir aprendiendo más adjectives, ¿ok? Now, stretch your arms, everybody, relax. Move your head. Los veo algo estresados. What Ajá. happened? Ajá. Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Teacher. Yes, Ana. Uh, repeat this. Este, ¿Cómo se pronuncia confortable? Porque hay que okay. decir. Yes. Okay, everybody. Look, I know that that word is a little bit complicated. Look at this. No lo pronunciamos comfortable. No. Look, the pronunciation is something like this. Comfortable. Basically, algo así es como lo vamos a pronunciar. Com, remember, hay una M, ¿ok? Com, luego decimos fra, and then ball. Comfortable. So everybody, try to repeat. Comfortable. 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 That's the correct yeah. one. So that is the pronunciation. Thank you, Tisha. You're very welcome. Is there any other question, everyone? Tisha, la pronunciación de incómodo. On places. Un unpleasant. Yes. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. That's the Con one. NT, unpleasant. Exactly. Okay, yes. Thank you. That's the one. Any <coughs> other question, everyone? No questions? Okay. Now, let's do another practice. Pero como los veo estresados, les do a game, ¿ok? Para que se relajen y así podamos ir aprendiendo un poquito más de vocabulary. I'm going to show you a picture y les voy a dar diferentes options mm -hmm. in the vocabulary. Y ustedes tienen que elegir the correct one, ¿ok? So vamos <coughs> a hacer la revancha. ¿Quiénes ganaron la última vez? ¿Girls or boys? I don't boys. remember. Boys. Okay. Always. 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 Okay. Girls, esta puede ser la revenge. Así que pilas, please. Yo les voy a ir ayudando. No worries. <laughs> okay. Girls, give me a number. Number two. Okay. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. So, choose one option. Is gloomy, sunny, cold, or hot? It's cold. Cold. ¿Cuál es el significado de gloomy? Do you know that? Gloomy. Gloomy es como cuando ustedes ven una película de terror. Ah, right? Gloomy. Uh, cold. Sunny es cuando hay mucho sol. Cold ooh, and hot. So, blooming. what would be the correct it's answer? Gloomy. 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 Okay, so write it down. Cada nueva palabra, please write it down. In your city, is there a gloomy place in your city? No. Yeah. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah, no. The cemetery. <laughs> the cemetery <laughs> or the cemetery. graveyard. <laughs> es cierto, right? I mean, that is kind of gloomy. <laughs> okay. Boys, is your turn. Give me a number. <clears throat> number five. Seven. Okay, five or seven? Five. five. Okay. Five. Look at this place. Look at the picture. Hmm. <laughs> so... Pero ya está muchacho, güey. Some. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, look at this. Few, for example, few es como lo opuesto de a lot of. Some, ya sabemos que es some. Big, ya sabemos que es big. Crowded es como cuando ustedes van a Metrocentro un fin de semana. ¿Cómo está Metrocentro los fines de semana? Transitado, ¿no? Lleno. Ah, Crowded. so. Lleno. Crowded. Crowded. Very good. Let me ask you, your city is crowded, yes or no? No. No. No? no All right. <laughs> All right, very good. Girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. Six. Six. <coughs> okay, look at this. <laughs> so, for example, cuando van a una biblioteca, una, bi una library is quiet. 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 Small, ya sabemos que es small, ya sabemos que es new, en noisy, por ejemplo, en el traffic, traffic is noisy. So, look at the picture. What is the correct adjective? Noisy. Noisy. So, your city, your city oh. is noisy, yes or no? Yes. Yes. yes? All no. right. Very noisy. Okay, very good. Boys. It's your turn. 12. Go ahead. 12. 12. Okay. 12. Look at this picture. Okay. What is the correct adjective? Tall. Mm -hmm. Tall, high, mm -hmm. fast, or large? Large. Large. I, I. Large. Yeah. Okay. Pay attention yeah. here. Si se fijan, <coughs> large, high, and tall son como que muy parecidos. However, the difference is con objetos normalmente usamos large. Ahora, con personas usamos tall. tall. Y con edificios o montañas usamos high. High. Okay. Very right. good. Okay, girls, it's your turn. <coughs> uh huh, girls. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, quiero que todas las chicas participen, please. No las estoy escuchando todas. Look at this picture. What is the correct adjective? Nice, funny, peaceful, or oh, old. Just peaceful. Peaceful is the opposite of noisy. ¿Qué era noisy? Mm, ruidoso. Oh, yeah. So, peaceful is the opposite. Es como, si, como quiet. Silencio. Exactly, correct. So, look at the house. It's nice. It's old. Funny, old, or peaceful? It's very old. Old? Yes. Correct. Very good. Very good. Boys, it's your turn. Ten, seven. One. Oh my gosh. I heard three numbers. Ten, seven, or one? Which one? One. One. Okay. This one is very easy, boys. Sunny. <laughs> Which one? Sunny. Sunny, definitely. Okay, girls, give me a number. Nine. Nine, okay. <laughs> Look at here. This is an office. So, ¿cómo creen que están ellos? Many, quiet. Busy or loud? Loud. ¿Qué es loud? Ok, loud es, por ejemplo, cuando yo no los escucho y tienen que hablar más fuerte. Entonces le digo loud. Busy is, for example, cuando ustedes están trabajando y hay muchos clientes. ¿Cómo están ustedes? Very busy. 
Como ocupado. ¿no? Exactly. Okay. So in this picture, ¿cómo creen que están ellos? Many, busy. quiet, busy, or loud? ¿Qué es many? Many is like a lot of. Oh, okay. Mucho. Es busy. So, busy. 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 Very good. That's correct. Let me ask you, your city hall, your city hall is busy? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. No. yes? Sometimes? Oh, yes. Okay. Boys, it's your turn. Go ahead. For 14. 14. Look at this picture. What is the correct adjective, boys? Cloud. Cloud. Mm. Quiet. Quiet? Okay. Yes. Um, Quiet. Se ve tranquilo. Yes or no? Time. Yes. Yes? yes. Very good. Girls, it's your turn. Number eight. Okay. <laughs> Look at the picture. Uh, yes. What do you think? Uh, Peaceful. 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 Blue. Blue. Okay. Peaceful or blue? Peaceful. Peaceful. Se ve tranquilo el lugar? Yes or no? También azul. Azul because of the sky. Podría ser o podría ser green. Right? Okay. Boys, is your turn. Number four. Okay. Look at the place. So. Si no saben el vocabulary, clean. tell me. Clean. Okay, clean. clean. What is yeah. the meaning of clean? Hay dos cosas que no tienen, son algo, algo Limpio, right? Is your city clean? Yes or no? No. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. No. All right. Very good. Okay. Girls, go ahead. Number 10. Number 10. Look at yeah. the picture. <laughs> so. Terrible. Terrible. Ugly, old, or dirty? What is the meaning of dirty? Dirty is the opposite of clean. Okay? Dirty. 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 So, ¿cómo es la city? Clean or dirty? Clean. La city is yeah. dirty. The people is dirty. <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay, boys, which one? <coughs> Three. Three, okay. Look. Uh, what is the correct adjective? Beautiful. 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 Is it beautiful, really? <laughs> okay, well, yeah. depends yeah. on the point of vista, right? Okay, beautiful? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Tienen por cinco, por cinco puntos Small. tienen otro intento. Mysterious. Mysterious. Small. 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 Mysterious. Okay. Mysterious. Small. Ooh. Small. Small. <laughs> That was Small. the correct one. Small. <laughs> okay, girls, this is the last one for you. Seven or thirteen. <clears throat> Girls, seven. seven. Look at the house. What is the correct one? <laughs> okay, look at the picture. Look. So, old, ugly, beautiful, or new? 
New. New. <risa> New. Y no les ayudé. Ok, canse. I say nothing. Very good. <risa> boys. This is the last one, boys. For you. Ooh, look at this place. <risa> What is that? <risa> look. Scary. 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 Scary, definitely. Uh, And look at this. <laughs> Hoy fue revancha, uh, girls. No very good job, girls. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, very good. So, the idea is to continue practicing. Okay? Poco a poco vamos a ir aprendiendo más vocabulary. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So please, everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see. Ana? Ana Carmina? Present teacher. All right. Douglas Arnoldo? Present teacher. Thank you. Guillermo Alex? Present. Y lo siento, llegué tarde hoy. Okay, it's okay, no worries. Better late than never. Um, Harvin Vladimir? Present. All right. Jesus Ernesto? Present. Okay. Joannis? Present. Very good. Rigoberto Padilla? Okay. Rogelio Enrique? Present teacher. Very good. Um, Sonia Elizabeth? Okay, Sonia Veronica. All right, uh, let's see, let's see. Wilson Ortega. Present. Thank you. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Very nice. Yesenia Navarro. Present teacher. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, everyone. Now, we already describe our house. ¿Para qué nos va a servir este topic? Imagine que de repente llega un turista, por ahí alguien de Rusia o no sé, from Canada or from another country. Llega ahí a la City Hall y les dicen, hey, aquí estoy en El Salvador y no sé qué hacer. Right? So, ¿qué lugares me recomiendan? So, that's what we are going to do. So, we need to describe a nice place in El Salvador. For example, imagine, hay muchos lugares in our country that are beautiful. So what places do you recommend? ¿Qué lugar recomendarían? What place do you recommend? The, The beach. beach. Which one? <laughs> but, but which one? Hay muchas beaches. Beach. So which El one? Tunco. Beach. Playa Tunco. Tunco. Beach. Okay, El Tunco. El Tunco Beach. El Tunco. What else? Waterfall. Uh, waterfalls. The waterfalls. Like okay. Where else? Another place? Olor de Mar restaurant. All right. Very good. Okay. Another place? Uh, Mr. Mr. The city hall. The river. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right. So, how do you say cascadas? Waterfalls. <laughs> Waterfall. Waterfall. Yes. Okay. So, that is what I want you to do. I want you to choose a nice place in El Salvador. Puede ser un lugar in your city or in El Salvador in general. Y quiero que lo describan usando there is and there are and also adjectives. Imagínense que ustedes le están describiendo este lugar a un turista. El turista llegó, les preguntó una recommendation. Hey, ¿a qué lugar puedo ir? Ok, so ustedes tienen que describirle el lugar de una forma very attractive. Algo que los convenza a ellos para que quieran ir. I'm going to give you an example. You know what? Um, I recommend you to go to Atlantis Water Park. Ay, ¿dónde queda? Where is it? Ah, it is on Costa del Sol Street in La Paz. So in Atlantis, there are a lot of big water slides. There is a huge wave pool. There are nice 
pools for kids. There are restaurants with delicious food. There is a large river. There is a big parking lot. And there isn't a bar. Okay? So look, acabo de describirle Atlantis. So, en este momento, please, elijan un lugar en El Salvador, a place. El lugar que ustedes quieran. Puede ser un lugar turístico, puede ser una playa, puede ser un river, un restaurant, un mall, the ones that you prefer. And please describe it. Si se saben la dirección, pueden decirla, please, ya saben, on name of the street y un punto de referencia. Ok, pueden decir el nombre de la ciudad if you want. So everybody, go ahead. Tenemos five minutes to create this activity. Pueden hacer seis oraciones or five sentences. The idea is convince the tourist. La manera, hay que tratar que se vea atractivo. Traten de decir cosas bien positivas de ese place. All right, go ahead. ¿Qué significa pool? Piscinas. Pool okay. es piscina. Yes. Wave pool es como decir una piscina de olas. Slice es como deslizaderos, right? O los toboganes. Ok. So go ahead, everyone. Elijan un lugar, please, a very touristic place, and describe it. Tienen five minutes. Kilometers in English, kilometers. ¿Cómo es kilometers? ¿Cómo? Kilometers. Kilometers. If you have questions, tell me, I will help you. If you have questions, please let me know. Remember, you can use their is, their are, but don't forget the adjectives. Imagínense muy, que como están... que, muy como es, teacher. Very, no. Very, yes. Very. So remember, the idea is, vamos a intentar como que si estuviéramos convenciendo a un turista. All right, that's the idea.
puesta del sol es como el sunset. Sunset, yes. Okay. If you have questions, let me know. One more minute. One moment. All right. Pra pra practicar, ¿cómo se pone? Practice, ¿cómo? Okay, I'm going to write it. Practice. Practice. Yes, practice. Se escribe? Like this, practice. Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, gente yes. linda y amable. Ah, very good. Nice people. You can oh. say nice people. Sí, y amable. Can. O solo nice people. Pueden decir ambos. Pueden decir nice. I'm going to write it. Uh, be careful with the microphones, please. Podemos decir nice. And kind people. Nice and kind people. Al decir nice, decimos que son agradables. Al decir kind, decimos que son amables. Nice and kind people. Okay, is everybody ready? Yes? Yes, I'm ready. Ready? All right. Now, listen. Quiero estar seguro. ¿Cómo uh -huh. se dice, por ejemplo, un kilómetro y medio, así, cómo se dice? Okay, I'm going to write it. You can say one kilometer and a half. Como cuando one decíamos kilometer. la hora, se los voy a escribir. Give me a second. One kilometer and a half. One kilometer and a house. Para decir y medio, solo le agregamos a house. ¿Ok? Hermosos atardeceres. Beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. Teacher, eh, juegos acuáticos sería aquatic place. Uh, juegos acuáticos. Juegos. No me termina. Water games. Yes. Ok. Van a estar en parejas. Uno de ustedes va a ser el turista y el otro va a ser el que está en la City Hall. El turista le va a decir: What place do you recommend? Ok. What place do you recommend? Esa va a ser la pregunta que le van a hacer a su classmate. What place do you recommend? Y su classmate responde, ah, I recommend Atlantis Water Park. There is, y empiezan a describirlo. Understood? Lo que importa es convencer al turista, que el turista diga, hey, sí, I will go, ¿ok? Si no convencen a su turista, mm. So, no more Spanish, porque si no el turista no les va a entender, ¿ok? So, only English. Are you ready, everybody? Yes? Ready? Yes. Excellent. Ok, let's go to work.
Yo afuera estoy todavía, no he ingresado, no me mandó la soli. Ok, ahorita lo voy a volver a ingresar, no worries. Eh, the waterfall, the manique. Eh, <clears throat> it is on San Benito in Tamanique. Eh, <clears throat> there is a nice eh, trip. Um, there is a there is a nice practice climbing. Uh, there is a <laughs> um, Water. There is a. No hard diga mal suyo. No Spanish. <laughs> okay. Uh, asking the question, please. Hello, Alarcon. How are you? Es que no copia la no copia la pregunta. What place do you recommend? Recommend. Ah, recommend. What place do you recommend? Recommend. Recommend. Okay. <laughs> I recommend Lago de Coatepeque. It is on Santa Ana Street in El Congo. There is a nice place because there are a restaurant with delicious seafood. There is a huge, huge, huge. Lago, there are a beautiful. Ajá, don Jesús. Don Guaves. Jesús. Sí, creo que Guaves. Guaves, ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sería. Continuo. Ok. Waves. 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 Ah, ok. Waves. Ah, bueno. Waves. Okay. Continue. Um, very, very cute place. Mm -hmm. eh, un lugar muy tranquilo. Creo que estamos a very cute place. Quiet. 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 Okay. Finish. Finish. Okay. En... Hoy le pregunto yo a usted. Uh -huh. eh, what play do you recommend? There is a very beautiful and large lake in Santa Ana. Is the one in Guatepeque. There are many restaurants near the water and you can ride a jet ski. Ok. Ya se me faltó. ¿A dónde quedaba? ¿Te ríes? Ah. Ok. 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 Time's up. Time's up. Aha, very interesting answers. Aha, uh -huh. how was the practice? Easy or difficult? A mí me sacó la plataforma, teacher. Difficult. Estaba con, con Guillermo y nos sacó a los dos, no nos oíamos y nos sacó de repente. Ah, 
Oh my gosh, no pudo no, convencer no, no, al no, turista no. entonces. Oh my gosh. Ah, ni, ni, ni él a mí me pudo convencer. <laughs> all right, all right. So, los demás, ¿cómo sintieron la practice? ¿Easy or difficult? Difficult. Uh -huh. Difficult. Oh, no. All right. So, los que fueron turistas, a ver, ¿los convencieron? Yes or no. So, so, yeah. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yes. That is because no, no listen to my plays. Oh, sorry. The time wasn't enough. Okay, let's do something. Tomorrow I will be asking randomly alguno de ustedes para que digamos la description. Así que para mañana no vayan a perder la description, please. Okay? Now, everybody, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Eh, a reminder, he visto que algunos han avanzado mucho en la plataforma. He visto que algunos hasta ya hicieron el examen final. Así que, great job. Para los que no han terminado, please remember, tratemos de avanzar on the platform. Okay? pilas con las tareas de la semana number four, ok, el examen todavía tienen tiempo, así que pero no se atrasen, sobre todo los que iban un poquito atrasaditos con la semana tres y la semana cuatro please try to advance remember, mañana ¿qué va a pasar mañana? The end. It's the end. So, everybody, mañana es un día importante. Mañana eh, va a estar aquí okay. alguien. <laughs> All right. Y mañana se va a realizar un procedimiento que es necesario que todos lo hagan. Ok. Santa. Así que. Sí. ¿Ah? Va a estar Santa ahí. Eh? Yes, tal vez le dan pisto, everyone. <laughs> so. <laughs> eh, <Yeah. laughs> No, listen, please, mañana es necesario que todos estén, ¿ok? Así que, please, hagan el esfuerzo, ya es el último día, come on. Ma mañana, Así que, ajá. Mañana sí voy a convencer a la licenciada de, de ir a las cascadas. <risa> Hoy no, pero mañana sí. Ok, <risa> eso espero. <risa> All right. Well, everybody, thank you so much for being in the class. Good night. Hoy nadie se queda, please. Así que, everybody, good night. And see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. 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 B